So yesterday, um, when we were filming, um, feeding the calves and all that, my mic was messing up. After I, I went to my Target, the car, the Lincoln Town car, and after ever since then, it was like hit or miss. It got some of it, but it didn't get all of it. So I thought I'd do a little bit more filming today. I need to move the buffalo out of this trap into the next pasture over. So I thought I'd drag y'all along. I got eyes on them right now. So I'm gonna, let me see if I can zoom in here. There we go, maybe, nope, yep, maybe. There we go. There's one of the buffalo right there. And there's, I think there's two more right there beside, yeah. Well, I can just see just the tops of their head. All right, so let's, uh, so we're gonna move them, we're gonna move them to, to the north. So let's go over there and see. Let's go, I'm gonna get through this gate right here and see if I can blow the siren and get them to come to me. So, um, and then we need to check that fence up there. But yep, all right, well maybe the audio will work better today. All right, here we go. So these buffalo, when they're out in the pasture and coming to a sick wagon, they're actually really gentle. But man, when you get a, you get around them on the ground or in the pens, whoo, not gentle. This is the best buffalo ever. She was the best. She's getting pretty old. Yeah, she's the best. She's a little darker than the other. She's kind of black. But she would, um, so I'd use these cat, I'd use these buffalo. Y'all might've seen some of the video, but I've seen, I'd use these buffalo to train my horses back when I was cutting all the time. And that black buffalo, I used her for, I don't know, maybe three years. Oh, she's the best. She'd run, she'd run to one corner, stop, turn around, run to the next corner, stop, turn around and do that. I'd work at least three horses on her about every, oh, every other day, every third day. Oh, she was the best. Not all of them are that good. She was really good. Grass looks good in here, huh? Big blue stem. So this, these traps right here, I put spike the year be year before last. I spread spike on these pastures to kill the sagebrush and a lot of other brush. And boy, the old grass came on looks good. It's like see that skunk bush there. That was from my. That would be from a spike kill. So spike's a pellet that I spread out in the pastures and kills like woody plants. Right, I got a gate. So I'm headed up here to the gate. If I can get there. Now those trees over there are in the other pasture. And I've, I treated those um, back in the winter. Come on, girls and boy.
picking my way up there. The gates, we're getting close to the gate. It comes back this way. That sucks. Jesus, who the hell? Well, oh, there we go. So this gate went the wrong way, or goes the wrong way, but maybe we can get us all, get them all behind us here. You'll go slow. They'll come around it, maybe. Maybe the four-wheel drive. Got one. Yeah, see, that's a problem. There we go, maybe they're coming. Come on, guys. Here we go. These, this is all the buffalo I've got left right now. I used to have, I used to have quite a few, but this is all I got left now. I got one bull. That's the bull. See the bull? Bull's over there uh, with all the cuckabers in his face. The black, the black cow, the black heifer, whatever. She's the one I really like. She's a good sucker. These other ones are just babies. Well, it was babies. I guess they're big enough to breed now. I had one that's pretty little. And uh, so normally what we do is I'll, I'll get one of them every year and feed one of them out. We eat a lot of buffalo. We really, uh, we really like buffalo. It's freaking good. I don't, we don't, we don't, I don't eat like the steaks, you know, but I eat, so essentially what I do is I sacrifice the steaks for the ground beef. And then we eat like, of course, I don't eat, we eat like hamburger patties, but we don't eat hamburgers. That bull's boogieing. He's like, I'm out of here. But the, I'm gonna get this gaze what I'm doing. But the, uh, the hamburger patties are so freaking good they, man they got such good flavor it's not, it's like beef but it's got like a it's not a gamey taste but it's like i don't know like maybe a sweeter taste it just got good flavor and it's lean and you all know me I, I like lean it's good protein it's good stuff i like it 
Right, get this gate shut. So I'm gonna be, the plan is, is I'll be, so I'm gonna start gathering these pastures and I'll be throwing them in these traps. So this pasture here is kind of a smaller pasture and I'm just gonna leave those buffalo in here and just kinda, I'm just trying to get them out of my dang way. Cause they, you don't want buffalo in with your cows if you're trying to do something with them. Those freaking buffalo, they can screw some crap up now. I mean, run through crap, screw crap up. It's bad. All right, I think what I need to do, I need to check this fence. Well, I see a problem right here already. Maybe that's where that buffalo's jumping the fence. Yeah, looks like it, huh? Right here. Yep. I'd say that's the spot. Well, let me show you. So what I'm saying is the buffalo keep getting out. One of them does. And this looks like the spot. Runs right up here. Jumps the fence. It's not very high on that side anyways. This side, this side is pretty high. Got that wire spun around there. Hang on, I'm gonna have to work on this for a minute here. See if I can go. Whoop. Can't get the camera. Yep. Come back and tie that up now. That'll that'll turn them for a minute. So that wire was was kind of wrapped around. That's good. I bet that that looks like a pretty good trail. I bet that was where they was jumping over here. Train going by. Pretty good view. I get asked all the time, it's like, hey, um, does the brush bullet, does it kill cedar tree, or mesquite trees too? I'm gonna go, yep, it kills mesquite trees. Look at that. <laughs> that is a big old dead mesquite tree right there. You know, and look, look underneath it, the tumbleweeds. It's like every cedar tree, every mesquite tree, I don't care if it's Choya, if I, whatever I kill with it, so I'm like the very first thing I see growing under is a dang tumbleweed. I don't know, maybe tumbleweed isn't affected. Maybe it doesn't, maybe that chemical doesn't touch a tumbleweed, but that's the first thing you see growing under it is a tumbleweed. Look at them, look at them. They're all under it. Tumbleweeds everywhere. Dang. Oh, look, there's a lot of grass in here. Let's see if I can get up this hill. Without crashing. I think I'm making a new road. It means I'm over here to go. Let's go check this water. Make sure water's good. Let's go up high. Hit the high ground. Hit the high ground. Water looks good.
plowing fine, isn't it? A little, little cloudy, but it's okay. But I, I don't know that that's that big of a deal. I'd say, um, I'd say just keep going like you're going, huh? Same, 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 same. Yeah, just keep doing it. Okay. And then let's plant it. I mean, we're behind anyways. Well, you put it water. When we finish plow, you put it water in the top. Yep. Better, yeah, I think by the time you get done plowing, that sprinkler should be around over there. Yes. And then let's just run a real fast run across it, you know, 25% like okay. with the water. And then let's plant it. Okay. And I don't think we need to do the no-till, just plant it, just the drill. Mm -hmm. This is pretty soft. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go feed some more cows. All right. I moved those buffalo to the center pen to okay. the center. Yep. That looks pretty good. It's a little cloudy, but it looks all right. So we're we're kind of late, behind on time. The rain slowed us down, but it's okay. All right, so we're doing the um, same thing we did yesterday catch another pasture here. We're trying to get these calves to start eating this cake. So this cake is last year's cake. So I, just, I don't know why. So I'm feeding this. It's called uh, DDG Dried Distillers Grain. So it comes from a um, distiller's meal or whatever you call it, where it's an ethanol plant. And so it's got all, this, all the starch out of it. It's like 29% protein. And I get along fine with it. It's good cake. But when you keep it for a year, so this is last year's cake, it gets really powdery, which is kind of, I don't i don't know why it does, but it sure does, which is not a good thing. That calf ain't eating. This calf's kind of trying to think about it here. around on a big old ball cap or steer cap. Working now? Okay. All right, audio, had, audio I guess was not working again. All right, so what I was saying is, we about got all these cows in here. They're all, they're coming in pretty good. Got a few more out. Um, so the, the deal is, is whenever we, we feed them, we want the calves to be eaten. So when we wean them in a couple weeks, the cattle are eating and once they're eating and they're eating good they usually don't get sick if they're not eating good and walking the fence they get sick so you guys are looking pretty good here yeah cows look pretty decent so then we'll we'll also um, ultrasound the cows make sure they're all pregnant usually it's about a 90 percent breed up so hopefully we're that good again they look cows look good I bet they bred up good. These are young cows. So like that cow right there, you see, uh, it says 8503. I think you can see that ear tag, maybe. Yeah, maybe 8503. So she's a 2018 model. Got a little knot on her jaw, but she's probably all right. It's got a little knot on that right side of her jaw there. Maybe an old injury. Who knows? Maybe a snake bite. Little red cast. So these are Sim Angus. Pretty good bunch of cows. Good bunch of thick old calves. All right, I think about everything's gonna come in's come in. All right, let's let's do a little feeding.
Waiting on one more cow. Here she comes. I got a few more cows behind us here. Water looks good. Um, one of the experiments I did with my brush bullet is right up here. I think we'll run up there and I want to show you all some of that. Come on, mama. Here we go. There you go. I kicked her a little bit out. Well, I'm going to hike up top of this hill. I want to show you all. This is, I did an aerial just spread from the air. So I just spread the chemical just all over the place. This is just since he did a blanket. I'm going to climb up top of this hill so I can give you all an aerial view of it. It's interesting though, the trees, how they're looking dead, but then they're having these little green sprouts shoot back out. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Because the trees are dead. I mean, they're, I mean, the trees are dead. I don't know if that's just the, I don't know if that's just the seeds popping back out. It's kind of weird while it's doing that. The grass looks good, it's short. For some reason, it looks like to me the cows are really, there's a bunch of cows, I just fed a bunch of cows here. The cows are really camping in here. I don't know, they flip it around. Yeah, so the cows are, the cows are really camping in here. I'm gonna hike up top of this hill here. See how, look at this, this is just, so weird. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, that branch is not good. Huh. See, I got all all the skunk bushes too. See that? That's pretty cool. So the neat thing about when when I just spread it, it kills. It almost kills everything but the grass. I'm almost to the top. I can see the top. Now you never know, might be an Indian artifact up here. I'm gonna think sure be looking for one. Oh man. I don't know that I've ever climbed up on top of this thing. Look at that. Woo! So that was helicopter pass. Grass is still green. See the pickup behind me there, down in the bottom? So I just, I just took the brush bullet, instead of shooting every tree individually, I just spread it. And I did, I got on the neighbors over there, you can start seeing this starting to turn brown. But uh, this little strip right here is a good test. The neat thing about it is it's got the yucca, it's got skunk bushes look pretty dead. Those are dead for sure. I don't know what that is. I don't know what kind of tree that is. That's pretty cool though, isn't it? The thing about these cedar trees are they're, they're just so invasive. You can see how many trees there are out here. Just crazy how many trees there are. If we can control them by just spreading like this, we might have a chance. That's a pretty cool little, pretty cool little experiment I'm doing there. So, different doses. This is about four pounds right here, and that's about two pounds on that end. And this is over here, three pounds over here. I think three pounds is gonna be our number. Mesquite trees are turning. You see some mesquite trees right in there turning. But yeah, it's pretty neat. So really the test, is going to be, you know, next year, next spring after they after it goes through the winter, because this herbicide, the brush bullet, it'll keep killing for a year or so. So hopefully it puts pretty good control on it. But you know, I just don't know what the dose is going to be. The dose is it, you know, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds? I don't know. But um, this is kind of an experimental trial I did. This is on my ranch. And uh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty freaking good. You know, if I can get this stuff to work, because there's 19 million acres of these invasive trees in Texas. 
So they started planting them as windrows and then they just get away from us. And I'm telling you, you don't call them invasive for nothing. They're invasive because the little suckers spread like wildfire. Oh, I see some more cows coming in over there. All right. So this is the second attempt at doing this video. I was supposed to have been flying a guy today and he got canceled because of the weather. So, yeah, thanks for the, we're way over 50,000 now. Thanks for the, uh, all the followers and the subscribers and, and the thumbs up. The thumbs ups help, help a lot apparently getting views. So, all right, I'm off. So this week I'm off flying a Huey all weekend. So I won't be around. So I wanted to get this video out to y'all. And this is just kind of a tag along with me today. So that's what we did. So. All right, well, I'm going to call it here. We'll see you all next weekend. Thanks for the all the likes and the subscribers. Thank you. See you.